I thought it was time to do an update on this project so those who are following along would know where we started and where we are now. Oda is a sweet pepper that has purple peppers and is pretty productive and they grow on a compact plant. I've grown them for several years and one year I saved seeds and the next year I got a little surprise. Instead of getting the familiar purple peppers, this is what I got. And instead of being sweet, when I bit into one, it was very hot. I also saved seeds from this one. So now let's take a look at what we got the next year. I grew 10 plants from those seeds, and as you can see, there was a lot of variability. Not only did they vary in color, but they varied in the amount of heat they had when I tasted them. I saved one that was mildly hot and had decent color, and I grew those last year. Now let's take a look at what we had. I grew some in a grow bag and also some in containers, and we still had some variability, but I was starting to get more of that purple Oda coloration. I thought it was important to do a taste test, so let's take a look at how that went. This is a sample of all of them, except for one that is missing here. Uh, an animal broke that one off, so I didn't get to get a sample from it, but it was very similar to this one, and it's not something I'm interested in carrying forward, so I'm not even going to do a taste test of this one or the green one. I might do the yellow one, I'm not sure yet. But I will probably taste all of these on this plate. And these are over here are the ones in the grow bag, and that's the ones I'm mostly interested in. So I think we'll start with those. What I'm looking for is a color like this. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up indoors. But this has got the Oda coloration, basically. And I would like to have a pepper that's got some heat, but not much hotter than a jalapeno so we're going to start with these five do a taste test and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut through each one of them with a separate knife because if I use the same knife on all of them if I cut through a hot one and then cut through one that wasn't hot it would transfer some of that heat from the seeds so I'm going to use separate knives and we're going to try these and see if any of them have any heat if there's any heat to these, I'll probably take a break and take a few bites of bread to cleanse my palate before I try the next one. But I'm going to try this first one that I'm most interested in because of the color. And I'm hoping it has some heat of some kind. What I'll do first is just stick my tongue on the seeds just to see what kind of heat it has. No noticeable heat. Now I'll go ahead and take a bite. It does have some heat. Surprised I didn't get that from sticking my tongue on the seeds. Take a little bite again. That has what I would call mild heat, but noticeable heat. If I had to guess on the Scoville scale, I would guess somewhere around 1,000 to 2,000. It's kind of mild heat. I'm going to take a little bite of bread and then I'm going to try this one over here. All right, I'm going to try this one now. It's got kind of a a blush of color. It's not intense coloration. I'm going to just take a bite of this one.
The heat on this one is even milder yet, barely noticeable. And I don't really like the taste of that one as well, but I have noticed on this one the seeds are starting to get a little discolored, so I'm not sure if that affects the taste or not. I'm going to take another bite of bread, rest a little bit, and then I'm going to try this one in the middle here. This one is kind of like the one we just tried. It's got some purple, but it's kind of more of a blush than a solid purple color. I'm going to take a bite of it and see what we think. It's got a little more heat. I would say the heat in that is very similar to the heat in the first one I tried. So that's one to consider. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and without resting, take a bite of this yellow one. Okay, that's, that's got more heat than the, any of them. That's actually pretty hot. I'd call that maybe a little less than your average jalapeno, but it's got some very noticeable heat. And this is one that I don't think I'll even bother tasting because it's very similar in appearance to the F1s, so I don't think I'm gaining anything by saving seeds from it. So. I think of the ones on this plate that I've tasted, I'll probably save seeds from that one and that one. They've got both got noticeable heat and even though this doesn't have as much color, you never know what's going to happen in the next generation, so I think those will be the two I carry forward. And now I'll probably Give a couple of these a taste test. I don't really like the color of them that much. Now that I think it over, I think two saving seeds from two of them will give me enough to work with. So I'm going to just not even do a taste test on, on this plate. Or this plate. I don't see anything that really fits my criteria for appearance and I don't think saving seeds would get me where I want to go so I think I'm pretty well set with saving seeds from the two on this plate. The one here and the one here, that's the one in the middle of the grow bag, and this is over on the east side, on the southeast side, so I know which ones to save seeds from now. Here's some of those F3s that I harvested from the grow bag. They make for a pretty picture. And here are some of the same peppers in the grow bag after they've had time to ripen. They go through a lot of interesting color changes. Here's the next generation. I already have some of the F4 seedlings growing under grow lights. And if you look carefully, that center one has some color on the foliage, which means it's been crossed. So the bees are already trying to mess up my project. I save seeds from two peppers, and here are the seedlings from the other pepper. 
While we're here, we might as well take a quick look at some of the other seedlings from some of my other pepper projects. As you can see, I've got enough to keep me busy this year. If you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.